Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use SEMrush to find those low competition keywords. These are the low hanging fruit that are great for any website, especially if you're brand new, just so you can quickly rank for them, start seeing results and move on from there. If you'd like to follow along or in case you haven't gotten to test out SEMrush, I will put a link in the description where if you click that, you can get a free trial to test it out. So let's begin. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to assume that maybe you're not familiar with any of the competitors. So what you want to do is just add your website in there, whether it's brand new or you haven't have too many posts on it. So that's going to be the first step is figuring out competitors. If, if you already know some of your competitors, don't worry. This only takes a few seconds. Okay. So I put my website in there and once you do that, you're going to want to click on competitors. I actually did a video about this previously, but this is great for showing you some of the top competitors. I'm going to go with the first one here and I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and given the fact we're still in organic research, what I wanna do is paste that in there, click search. And now let's go to positions. And so here's the cool part. What we can do from here is actually filter this by the keyword difficulty. So if I go here, we can go to very easy, or if you wanna do a custom range, you could do the very easy and keywords, which would be from 0% to 29. It's really up to you, but just to get the low hanging fruit, some of the best, let's click on very easy. And let's let that load. And from here, we have some of the easiest keywords that they are ranking for that we can also create content on. Now, the cool thing about it is that once we actually get a specific keyword we like, we can take it even further. Given the fact that a lot of these are comparisons and trials, some good keywords here, we can actually take something, move on from it, and then get more information. So let me look down a little bit more. Let's see if there's anything specific. Kajabi, uh, AccuRanker. AccuRanker is actually really good. So what I want to do, I'm just going to see if I can highlight this here. I can't. So I'm going to use AccuRanker in the keyword magic tool. So what I want to do here is now that I have a keyword magic, maybe you don't want to go for like a longer tail. Maybe you just want to do AccuRanker or maybe just SamCart. What we can do is type that in here. Click on search, another SEO related tool. And now we have some of the keywords for this. Given the fact there's only 112, what we can do is also sort these by the difficulty. So if we wanna do very easy and easy, we can do from 0% to 29 here and click on apply. And just like that, we have some pretty solid keywords that are a little bit easier to rank for. And so the cool thing about this is that you can actually create content for any of these if they make sense. So like AccuRanker Excel, showing them how to use the tool with Excel. When it comes to blog, maybe that one would be tough to do because they're probably looking for the blog that belongs to them. But the share of voice would be a great one to explain kind of the percentage that you have when it comes to the first page of Google, how much quote unquote territory you're taking up things like that. But all in all, that's a, just another great way to not only find a lot of great keywords that are easy to rank for, but once you find some that you like, throw them into the keyword magic tool. And then of course, then you can sort those by keyword difficulty as well. And then you can get even more keywords that you want to pick up on. Literally, you can do this as many times as you want for as many competitors, you know, as many different keywords, look for the easy ones, and then look for more broad keywords related to that, all within a lower difficulty. So they're going to have lower competition, which allows you to rank a little bit easier compared to some of the really tough ones. But in a nutshell, that is how it's done when you find your low competition keywords. I hope you got some value out of this. You can really go crazy when it comes to this. You can get so many keywords, start creating a list of those keywords that you want to create articles about, and then go on from there. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. The link will also be in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free trial for SEMrush where you can do some keyword research yourself. Thanks again for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.